Well, my love, tomorrow is supposed to be the big day. This life out here means nothing now that you're gone. I guess we both were naive to think that nothing could stop us. I'm gonna hold this promise and I intend on keeping it. I'll be there and I know you'll be there with me. I love you. I'm serious. We can't keep doing this. You better answer me and you better be all right. You can't keep ignoring us. Jesus, Harold, please say something. I'm okay, Annie. You're okay? No, you're not fucking okay. Answer your phone. Do you know how many times mom called me? That's what she asked me, I'm sure. So just answer her. She's just trying to check on her sunny son. Even though the sun has set on you lately. I don't even like that name. So what? She loves you and she's worried about you. Never mind. Just answer your phone. We care about you. I don't want to talk about it. Just leave me be. It wasn't your fault, Harold. You both agreed on it. Together. You didn't force her. She wanted it. She would have done anything. All she ever wanted to do was get married and make it official. And that treatment just killed her. She knew what she signed up for. We all sat downstairs around that table and agreed to it. Experimental treatments are for people with no options. She was a special case. She had no more options. And it ate her alive in under a month. I couldn't even recognize my own wife. Fiance. What? I'm just saying, let's be realistic. She was your fiance. Don't make things harder on yourself than you already are. Get the fuck out of our house. <laughs> you know what tomorrow is, don't you? Yes. Just please, leave me be.
Charlottesville. The four-month-old corpse of a local woman was found near the pulpit of a church. There are also now reports that a man, Harold Armstrong, was found at the scene alive, but in a severe state of catatonic shock. Four months old? My God! That's right. Authorities are reporting that the two are connected, and by the mental state of Armstrong, he is believed to have exhumed the body himself personally. More on this story as details unfold. In other news, a breaking and entering was reported at Margaret's Bridal Shop late last evening. Some vandalism and theft have been reported, but the employee on duty was unavailable at the time of questioning.